hello everyone this is a pure continuism from the previous video so if you have not watched that video please go back to that video where i defined these addresses using the preprocessors in c language and then used these names for providing the values for the respective registers and now in this video we are just going to use a vendor supplied header file for replacing all the addresses provided right over here let's get started so now you may be wondering that if i want to configure a timer or uart or any other peripheral of this microcontroller will i just want to define all the register addresses like this what we have done just right now here yes of course if i want to write values to any register in this microcontroller i just required the register addresses defined like this for writing the data to the respective registers but it is impossible for us or it is a quite longer process for us to define all the register addresses like this because our microcontroller is having a huge set of registers for each of its peripheral right let me just open the data sheet of the microcontroller so this is the data sheet of tm4c123gh6pm microcontroller which is available in tiva c series launchpad development board so i am just opening the memory map of this microcontroller and now you can see here these are all the these are all the registers available in this microcontroller for each of the peripherals we are having a huge set of registers which can be used for enabling or disabling the required process so it is nearly a longer process for us if you want to define all these addresses but instead the microcontroller vendor who is manufacturing the microcontroller has already defined the addresses for this microcontroller in a separate header file and it has been provided for all the consumers of that microcontroller for free so that is provided in the download button below i have also added this header file in the download button below and if you are watching this video in youtube you just want to enter my smtrainingacademy.com and then you just want to enroll for the required course for downloading and accessing all the resources required for that particular course let me just continue and this is the header file tm4c123gh6pm.h which is the header file provided from the texas instrument that is the ic vendor so in this header file let me just now you can see in this header file all the registers available in this microcontroller has been defined you can see all the registers available in the microcontroller has been defined with its address and it has been provided with a particular default name you can also change this name if you want or we can just use this name for better convenience now you can see these are the registers associated with watchdog timer 0 this these are the registers for watchdog timer 1 and these are all the registers for gpio port a and these are all the registers for gpio port b and these are all the registers for gpio port c and it goes on it is a huge set of file you can see here it goes on like this so our microcontroller is having a huge set of register base for each of its peripherals so we can just use this header file instead of defining the registers addresses individually by ourselves and if you think i can do or define the addresses by myself it is well and good because you will be gaining more knowledge if you do all these things by yourself but for time being we are just going to use this header file in our projects and i have already taught you how to define these addresses individually in the previous lecture right 
so in the same way you can see here all the addresses has been defined in the same format so all the register addresses has been provided with a particular name and it has been defined with the preprocessor has defined so i'm just going to use this header file in my program for including this header file let me just open the keel microvision this is the program that we wrote in the previous lecture i'm just going to add the header file to the same project and i'm going to neglect all these addresses written by me i'm just going to use the vendor provider header file for blinking the same led i'm just going to rewrite the program with the vendor provider header file now right click on the source group and click on add existing file to group and now go to the respective folder where you have stored the required files and select your required file and then click on add now you can see our header file has been added to our project right over here now click on close for closing this window i am just double clicking on this header file for opening it you can see this header file has been added in our project in keel microvision ide now for including this header file in our program i just want to write as include of and then you just want to write the name of the header file with dot h extension within double quotes double quotes tm4 c 123 gh6 pm dot h now you can see we have successfully included the header file and now we have the access for all the addresses defined inside this header file i am just going to comment all these definitions done by me and i am going to use the addresses of registers with the name provided in this dot h file let me just search for port tf you can see here is the port tf and these are all the registers associated with the port tf of the mega controller so we just used three registers from the gpio port tf peripheral right one is the gpio f digital enable register direction register and data register so let me just find the name of the register provided by the vendor now here you can see this is the data register name gpio port tf data r which has been defined with the address 0x4002 53fc now here i am just going to cross check this address with the definition done by me now you can see here the address of the gpio of data is 0x4002 53fcu which has been defined right over here with the name gpio underscore port f underscore data underscore i'm just going to copy this name and i'm going to replace it wherever i have written gpio f data and nextly i am just going to use the direction register so gpio port of dir underscore r is the name given for the direction register which is located at the address 0x4002 5400 so here also 0x4002 5400 so i am just going to copy this name and i am going to replace it with gpio f dir which has been defined by me which is the user defined name provided by me and nextly i am just going to use the den register name that is defined right over here which is located at the address 0x4002 551c so 0x4002 551c is the address of the gpio f digital enable register i am just going to copy this name provided by the vendor and i am going to replace it with the user defined name provided by me and the next register is rcgc gpio let me just find that register rcgc gpio i just want to find the name provided by the vendor for that particular register and here i can see this is the name provided by the vendor sys 
CTL underscore RCGCGPIO underscore R, which is the name provided for the address 0x400F-E608. So that is the address, right? 0x400F-E608 is the address of RCGCGPIO register. I am just going to copy this name, SysCTL RCGCGPIO underscore R. And I am going to replace it with this name RCGCGPIO. Now, when I build this project, you can see I am getting zero errors and zero warnings. That is, my program is working fine without errors. Now, we have successfully rewritten our program using the vendor provider header file that is this tm4c123gh6pm.h header file provided by Texas Instrument. And we used all the naming conventions provided by the vendor that is these registers naming conventions from this header file and from here on we are just going to use this header file for all the addresses of registers defined for this microcontroller and we will not be defining the addresses of registers like this like what we did before and only for the sake of better understanding the addresses and registers of this microcontroller we did this Bing project in the earlier several lectures and now when I dump this program in my Tiva C series launchpad I have already connected my launchpad to the PC through USB cable the program has been dumped and now when I reset the board you can see the green LED is flashing I am getting the same output but this time we are using the header file provided from the Texas instrument that is the silicon vendor And finally, if you are facing any issues in adding the header file to your project or if you are facing any errors in the locations of the header file, I will show you a shortcut method for adding this header file to your project. For that, what I am just going to do is, I am just going to delete this header file which has been added to my project. You can see I am just removing this header file. And the header file has been removed and now if I want to add this header file what I will do is I will just right click on the source group and I will click on add new item to the group and here I am just going to create a header file with the same name of tm4c123 tm4c123 gh6 pm dot h now i'm just going to add this header file to my project you can see here an empty header file with an empty document has been created in my project now what i'm just going to do is i'm just going to open this tm4c 123gh 6pm dot h document and here i'm just going to copy all these things and i'm going to paste it right over here you can see I have pasted it now I will save this document and now you will not be getting any errors related to the header file of your project see you in the next video thanks for watching